Here we we'll look at the formation of diesters, triesters, and then look at the chemistry of triglycerides. First, we'll look at diesters, and diesters are molecules with two ester functional groups, and they can be formed in one of two ways. The first way is by reacting a dioic acid, the simplest being ethane dioic acid, and that can react with two moles of an alcohol, and I'm using methanol as my example. Again, this will be done in the presence of a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst. And again, I should really put this down as a reversible reaction. Now, what we're going to get then is we're going to get two sterification reactions where we lose the OH from the carboxylic acids and the H from the alcohol, the H specifically bonded to the oxygen in the alcohol. And that's going to form my two moles of water. My ester structure is going to be as follows. And then my two moles of water. So they're from my alcohol, the OHs from my dioic acid. And let's colour code this again. So this part is from the dioic acid. And you've got my OCH3s there. So that is one way which we can form a diester. And again, it's just two esterification reactions. Second way is by looking at a diol, simplest being ethane one two diol, and two moles of a carboxylic acid. And I'm going to use two moles of ethanoic acid. So again, we're going to lose the hydrogen bonded to the oxygens in the alcohol. I'm going to lose the OH from the carboxylic acid. That's going to form my water. And again, this is a reversible reaction done in the presence of sulfuric acid. And that's going to form another diester. So again, we'll form, don't forget, we'll form two moles of water. I'm just going to write that as 2H2O this time. But again, let's just colour code this. So I've got my CH3COs from my acids. That corresponds to these bits highlighted in blue. And then my bits in orange, my OCH2, CH2O. That corresponds to this. So there you can see, hopefully the colour coding helps, how we would form diesters. Dioic acid and two moles of alcohol, or a diol and two moles of ethanoic acid, two moles of a carboxylic acid. Now let's look at triesters. And we're going to look at a triol. And this is triol is something you need to be aware of. It's it's propane one two three triol, and it goes under the common name of glycerol. So this here is propane one two three triol. 
glycerol. And I'm now going to react that with my with three moles of ethanoic acid. And again, it's just three esterifications happening at once. Again, the hydrogen bonded to the oxygen and the alcohols is lost. And my OH is from my carboxylic acid is lost. And that would give me the following structure. So this bit is from my alcohol. So let's just highlight that in orange. And that corresponds to this here. So hopefully we can see that. And what we're going to do is we're going to add these CH3COs onto here. And that's done as follows. So hopefully we can see there CH3CO and that corresponds to a CH3COs there. So that there is the formation of my triester and I'm not to forget that I will also form three moles of water. Now, because this triester has been formed from glycerol, this would be called a tri glyceride. What we're going to look at now is the chemistry of triglycerides in a bit more detail. Triglycerides undergo two reactions you need to be aware of. The first one of those is the reaction with sodium hydroxide. It's a base catalyzed hydrolysis. So we've looked at ester hydrolysis in an early video, and this is just another ester hydrolysis, but it's done three times. So consider the following triglyceride. And I'm now going to call this just R1. If you're looking at something like a fat, then they're formed from fatty acids and glycerol. And in this case, the R group is usually a very long carbon chain. Remember that R1, R2 and R3, they could all be the same or more usually they are, they are usually different. First reaction we'll look at is the reaction with sodium hydroxide. And again, I'm going to need three lots of sodium hydroxide because I've got three ester groups. One, two and three. So I'm going to highlight this in green. Now, what's going to happen in the, is this bond here, which is going to be broken, three, each of them bonds is going to be broken. And this bit here, each of these oxygens here is going to gain the hydrogen from the NaOH. And the bits that I'm going to highlight in blue, they're going to gain the ONA to form some sodium salts. So let's have a look at the structure of the products formed. So hopefully you can see I am going to form glycerol. I'm going to reform my... Trial. So they've gained hydrogen. So let's just have a look at the colour code. And you can see there that the bit highlighted in yellow in the triester 
after this bond that I've highlighted in red is broken, they've all gained the H from the NaOH. And the other products then would be sodium salts. So we can see that this highlighted in blue, the three bits there correspond to the bits highlighted in blue in the triester. And remember that these bits in blue all gain the ONA, which is the highlighted in green. Now, these here are sodium salts. And they have got a very specific use. They are used in soaps. So these sodium salts are used in soaps. So that's one of the reactions that you need to be aware of with triglycerides. It's a base catalyzed hydrolysis. And it's just the same sort of hydrolysis you would do if you just had one ester group. You simply just doing it three times within the same molecule. Now, the second reaction is very, very similar to this. But instead of reacting it with three NaOHs, instead of an NaOH, I'm going to just show you how simple this is. Instead of this being an NaOH, this is now CH3OH. And this is methanol. We're going to react this triglyceride now with methanol. Now, I'm hoping you can see that when you react this, this will be done in the presence of a catalyst of sodium or potassium hydroxide. And you can hopefully see that when we split this molecule in the same way as we did when we reacted with sodium hydroxide, the hydrogen will tag on to the yellow part of this triglyceride. And it's the OCH3 which will tag on to the blue parts of the triglyceride. So all I would need to do then is simply remove these NAs and instead of an Na, it's now CH3. So once you've understood one reaction, the other reaction is very straightforward. All you do is you simply swap an Na for a CH3. And this mixture, of these are called methyl esters. Because they've been derived from methanol. They are used in biodiesel. So that there is a quick look at diesters and triesters. And then we've come to look at two key reactions of triglycerides. One being the base catalyzed hydrolysis with sodium hydroxide to form these sodium salts. And the second one is the reaction with methanol. And I just need to correct that. I just remember I need to put a three in front of that methanol. Nearly forgot. Um, the reaction of the triglyceride with methanol to form these methyl esters, which is used in biodiesel.